Good day, Grade 8, and welcome to Worksheet Cloud Natural Sciences lesson. If you have a question during the lesson, send an email with your question to grade 8 at worksheetcloud.com. My name is Mrs. Ernston, and I am Worksheet Cloud Grade 8 Natural Sciences teacher. I hope that you have some pens and pencils and paper ready for our lesson today because you're going to be doing a lot of fun interactive activities. The first activity I'd like you to do today is an I see, I think, I wonder. And I would like you to look at this picture below and I would like you to write down everything that you can see. And then once you've done that, I want you to have a look at your list. And I want you to write down, what does that make you think about? And then see if you can extend that thinking into thinking creatively and using your imagination in terms of what does that make you wonder? So please pause this video if you need to finish this activity. In today's lesson, we're going to cover friction and static electricity. We're going to have a look at how friction between certain materials such as plastic, perspex, nylon, glass, wool and silk transfers electrons between the atoms of the two materials being rubbed together. We're also going to have a look at how electrons move from one material, causing a positive charge on its surface and causing a negative charge on the surface of the other material. Just a reminder that it's only the electrons that are transferred and that the protons and neutrons don't move. We'll also have a look at when we have a look at objects and materials that the same or like charges repel each other. And when we look at objects or materials, we might find that opposite or unlike charges attract each other. If we have to define electricity, we will say that it is a form of energy resulting from the existence of charged particles such as electrons or protons and that this electricity is either created statically which is an accumulation of charges or dynamically as a current. In this lesson we are going to focus on static electricity so it's very important that we understand this definition. So static electricity is a buildup of stationary charge. This charge can either be positive or negative, And we'll find this charge on the surface of an object. The buildup of this charge is typically produced by friction. And that is what causes the sparks or the crackling or the attraction of dust or hair. Now we can have conductors of electricity like metal and gold and salt water, lemon juice, copper wire or steel. But then we can also get insulators. These do not conduct electricity like rubber or wood or oil or fabric, diamond, perspex or plastic rods or glass. The friction between two surfaces can cause electrons to be transferred from one surface to another. So if we have a look at this diagram here, it has six positive charges, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it has six negative charges, one, 
two, three, four, five, six. So if we say six plus minus six, we'll get an overall charge of zero. So that means the charge on this substance here is zero. And that means that the object is neutral. Now if we have a look at this surface here, we have eight positive charges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have six negative charges. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we take this eight positive charges and we add six negative charges, so we add a minus six, we'll get to two which means that this substance here has an overall charge of plus two. And that means we refer to the, sub the subject or object as being positively charged. If we have a look at this blue material, we have got six positive charges. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have got nine negative charges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we take the six positive charges and we plus nine negative charges, which means we minus nine, we will get to negative three. That means the overall charge on the blue substance is negative three, which means this object is negatively charged. So here we have a little experiment that we are going to do. We have fabric and we have a plastic ruler. They both carry a neutral charge. If we take the fabric and we rub it across the plastic ruler, we term that process as being friction when we rub the ruler and the cloth together. So once we have done that, I would like you to look at this diagram and see if you are able to explain the charges. Okay, let's have a look and see if you were correct. If we have a look at the ruler, we have one, two, three, four positive charges, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four plus negative eight gives us negative four. This means that the overall charge on the ruler is negative four. So it means the ruler is negatively charged. If we have a look at the fabric, the cloth has six pluses, sorry, six pluses and two minuses. So if we take six plus negative two, we get plus four. That means that the overall charge on the cloth is plus four and that the cloth is positively charged. Now let's have a look at this experiment here. Here we have ruler A. So ruler A has one, two, three positive charges and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight negative charges. That means on ruler A we are negatively charged. Let's have a look here at ruler B. We have one, two, three, four positive charges, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight negative charges. So that means overall, ruler B is negatively charged. Now, if we take ruler A, and we suspend ruler A. And now we are going to bring ruler B 
close to ruler A. What do you think is going to happen? The suspended ruler A is going to move away from ruler B. And that is because charges or like charges repel each other. So the process is called repulsion. I would like you to look very carefully at what is happening in this photograph. We have a plastic ruler that has been rubbed with a cloth. And look what is happening to these little bits of paper. Can you describe what is happening in the photo and why? Rubbing the ruler with a cloth transfers electrons from the cloth to the ruler. So the ruler now has an excess of electrons and is negatively charged. The pieces of paper are neutral. When the negatively charged ruler is brought near the pieces of paper, they are attracted to the ruler. As the electrons move around on the paper, because of the large charge on the ruler. Electrons will move away from the ruler, leaving a positive charge on the paper near the ruler, and so they are attracted. So let's focus on the relationship between positive and negative charges. What do you think will happen in each of these situations 1 and situation 2? So in situation 1, we're bringing two rulers next to each other that both have a negative charge. And in situation 2, we're bringing two charged rulers next to each other, whereas one has a negative charge and one has a positive charge. The like charges will repel each other. And the opposite charges will attract each other. So here, the ruler is moving away because like charges repel. And here, the ruler is moving towards because opposite charges attract. So, in summary, we can say the following. If two negatively charged objects are brought close together, they will repel each other. So here, we have two light blue objects. They are both negatively charged, and they will repel each other, which means if we bring the two blue objects next to each other, they will move apart. The next point. If two positively charged objects are brought close together, they will repel each other. So here with the two red circles, they are both positively charged. And if we bring them both close to each other, you can see that they are moving away from each other, which means they are repelling each other. Thirdly, if a positively charged object is brought near to a negatively charged object, they will attract each other. Here, we have a negatively charged blue object and a positively charged red object. And you can see in the diagram that the two objects have moved close together. And the last picture here, these two dark blue objects, neither of them carry a charge. They are both neutral, which means they do not repel, and nor do they attract each other. And these are the laws of attraction and repulsion. 
So here is a nice little diagram for you to copy down. So you can pause the video while you copy down the diagram and the definitions. So to check that you understand the work that we have covered so far, I would like you to redraw this diagram and describe what is happening in the picture and why. I would like you to give the picture a heading and I would also like you to use the words attraction, neutral and repulsion. So do you now understand why your hair rises and is attracted to the balloon after you rub the balloon on your hair? Write a short description to explain what is happening and use the words electrons, transfer, negative charge, positive charge, opposites, attract and repel. The hair and the balloon both start off as neutral. The balloon is rubbed against the hair and that is friction. The hair is being attracted to the balloon. As the negatively charged balloon is brought closer, the electrons in the hair that are nearest to the balloon will move away thereby leaving behind a positive charge on the surfaces of the balloon that are nearest to the hair. So the balloon is therefore attracted to the hair because opposite charges attract. Can you think of any other examples showing static electricity? Here are a few that I managed to think about. What about dust that is attracted to newly polished glasses? Have you ever thought about lightning? Have you ever been shocked by a shopping trolley while you're pushing it around a shop? Have you ever walked across a carpeted room and shocked yourself when you touched a door handle? Small electric shocks can be uncomfortable and mostly harmless. Large electric shocks are extremely dangerous and they can cause injury and death. You can discover more about simulations on rubbing jerseys and balloons by following this web link. You can email your questions to Graydate at worksheetcloud.com and I would also like to acknowledge Fuse School with their video on static charge in the electricity and physics section for the use of some of their images. Great eights, this brings us to the end of our lesson so thanks for watching and I'd love to take this opportunity to thank Worksheet Cloud for bringing this lesson to you. Bye, grade eights.